Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we're working on Underwater Love, which is a collection from Chow Bella. And we are on page four. And we are gonna have two flaps. They're going to be four and a half by eight, four and a half by eight. And we're gonna install them uh, left and right. There we go. That's our flaps. Okay, now the next thing we're going to install is our belly band, and it's three inches wide by nine inches tall. You're gonna score a half inch um, on the nine inch side and then at eight and a half. Uh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. And that is gonna be centered, so I need to put my center line here in the middle, so we'll have a, these two flaps and a nice belly band. So we need to mark this at one and a half from the edge. There we go. Okay, I went ahead and put my magnets on here so I wouldn't forget. So we're going to put opposing magnets on each of the flaps. And I just placed them inset just um, enough to make sure I could get good coverage with my paper, designer paper. Set down my pick tool and my desk is a mess so it disappeared. Well, I don't need to do that yet. I need to install it first. <laughs> okay. Of course I unwrapped the one that I didn't mark, so. There's our nice belly band. Let's go ahead and get our opposing magnets on. Okay, so let's start decorating. So this is from the 8x8 collection pack, and as you can see, I just split it in half. Uh, it's Thursday, and I'm excited, because tomorrow I'm going to a craft retreat. Yay! It always gets me reinvigorated to be around like-minded people. So I'll be in La Jolla, California at, um, Scrap and Escapes. So if you're there, I'm not even sure what room I'm gonna be in. Please come look me up. It turns out they're gonna have actually two, two rooms, so they're um, split apart. So it'll be a little bit different than at least the ones I've gone to before. I chose this 
for page four and five, this color palette for four and five, because it is the darkest in the series. So it winds up greens and blues on the uh, page one, two, and three, and then this really rich brown right in the center. Actually, close it just like that. It's pretty. Okay. So now let's get started with the inside. So this is going to slide in and go right here. And this is from the 12 by 12. So there is, um, there's a mermaid on this sheet and I cut her off. So this is the bottom part and I'll show you. I don't think I used, I don't think I used that anywhere. Um, but there's a large mermaid here. So I cut the upper right hand corner of the 12 by 12 and then all you see is this little piece of her knee. I kind of wanted to get this somewhere in the book, even though it's going to be partially covered. Okay, and then she, her image was just too large of a scale for um, for an eight and a half by eight and a half book. So I'm going to cover half of this in glue, and then I'm going to slide it in so it doesn't get stuck. I'm going to take the the unglued side, slide it in. Once it's in place, then I'll press down the glue side, and then we'll come back and add some additional glue on this side. And that way you don't have to fight it so much. Okay, now I'm gonna add some glue onto here. The reason I do it this way instead of just applying the belly band on top of the design paper is because then you have those two half inch flanges exposed and right now it's completely smooth underneath and your inserts get stuck on them. So that's why I do it this way, but it's not that big of a deal. It, could cer it will certainly work the other way. It's just something to be aware of that if you just install this directly on the designer paper, if you were trying to in input something here, it would likely get hung up on the hinge. And now it won't. It'll slide freely. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to line these two sides. This is also from the 12 by 12 collection. I really like this one, the seahorses. They're so pretty and can be used for so many things. Any beach. I also was thinking about this um, earlier today while I was at lunch and I was thinking this is a perfect collection for a day at any aquarium. So if you take pictures at the aquarium, this would be a perfect uh, book to put a day at the aquarium in. I know it's got some of that love stuff on it, but you could easily work around a lot of that. You don't have to use the romance images. There's really not that many of them. They're large, but there's not that many of them. You could focus more on the birds and the fish, which is what I'm pretty much doing in the album. And then the last piece is we're going to pull that pattern back in for the center. There we go. I'm going to burnish that a little bit into place because we've got two magnets across the center. You could offset them if you were uncomfortable with that, but there's a little bit of a bulge, but you're not going to really put a photo here. It's, it's really not wide enough. 
You could certainly put a design element here, but it's not wide enough for a photo. So now I made two inserts for this page. One is seven by seven, and it, this is cut from the uh, 12 by 12 collection pack. And then this is from the eight by eight collection pack, and this is six by six. So you have a blue frame, a brown frame, and this sort of gray frame that all sit together. Isn't that lovely? There you go. It's pretty cool. So that's page four. I'll be back pretty soon with page five.